How's it going everybody? This is Dakota from the Techies World and for this week's video I thought we would take it just a wee bit easy and uh, do something just a little bit different. Uh, I thought I would give you a tour of my setup and uh, the office and um, I thought I would do this for two reasons. These videos tend to be a little popular. People want to see other computer setups and their offices. I don't know why but uh, some people do and also I'm taking this time to give you a little bit of a small video this week because I'm working on a bigger video which I hope to have up next week. Uh, the bigger video was requiring a little bit of time and um, I was kind of hoping I would have it up this week but I won't have it up this week so I hope to have it up next week so for this week I thought I would just give you a tour of my computer setup and uh, the overall office you can get an idea of kind of like what it's like in here in case you care <laughs> and uh, I don't know why I just did that funny accent I don't know but hey it is what it is enough of this foolishness how about we get into it before we get to the actual tour, let's talk about the thing that makes these YouTube videos possible. This is the modem and the router that is supplied from Verizon Fios. Yes, I'm not a fan of standard equipment from ISPs either, but I can honestly say their router is actually a lot better than mine. First up, let's start with the heart of the computer setup. This is my mid-2012 15-inch MacBook Pro. This machine does pretty much almost everything you see on the techies world. It edits and uploads these videos, and it also is the computer I use in my daily life. Connected to the MacBook Pro, I generally have this 19-inch Westinghouse LCD monitor connected to it. Surprisingly, the maximum resolution is 1440 by 900 which is the resolution of the MacBook Pro's display, but hey, it works, and it does what I need it to do, so there. Also connected to the Mac is this Apple USB keyboard. I don't use it as often as I used to, but it's plugged in and it's there. The keyboard and other accessories are plugged into this USB hub. This is a Belkin USB 2.0 hub. You've actually seen me unbox this hub on this channel. The funny thing is, this hub is only USB 2.0 while the MacBook Pro is 3.0. This is the reason why I have my Time Machine backup drive connected to the Mac itself and not the USB hub. This next thing I only break out during the holidays. This is something that my grandmother gave me many years ago. And I cherish it more and more each year since my grandmother passed away several years ago. I'll show you what this does. The next thing I have on my desk are these little souvenirs from Niagara Falls, the USA side, not the Canadian side. I've never been to the Canadian side of the falls. Next we have the iPad. This is the iPad mini. This is a first generation iPad. Above my desk we have this. This has actually drawn some interesting comments from people who've came into my office before. Technically what this is, is a clock that I made out of an old Apple iBook G4 screen lid and the guts out of an old clock. It's actually quite cool. And then let's do one wide view of the desk and the setup. Across from my desk, I have this coffee table in the corner with my television on it. My TV is a 32-inch 720p HD TV from Element. I've never heard of them before either. They must be some off-brand. And yes, that is an old tower computer. That's an old Dell Aspiron tower that's actually helping to raise the television up because the coffee table sits down too low. Never fear, the computer doesn't work. The motherboard is no good and I just use it as a parts machine. Or, as you see here, it works as a good stand for your television. Next down here we have the old Power Mac G4. I actually have the Power Mac connected into the TV so the TV is used as its monitor. I don't really use the Power Mac that often, it just kind of sits here kind of like a decoration. Across from the TV we have this little setup going with another computer and a microphone. This is where I actually do all of my audio narration recording for these videos. The microphone I use is a blue snowball USB microphone. The microphone is sitting inside of this little thing. Now call me El Cheapo, but what I did is I custom built my own portable recording studio, aka one of these things. Because I'm too cheap to buy one, I decided to build my own. It's made out of an old coffee maker box and sound deadening foam that my neighbor had. Helping to raise this up, because again the table sits down a little too low, helping to raise it up are these books that I got from when I was in college. I don't have use for these books anymore, so they make a great stand for raising up this little portable redneck studio. Again, a very cheap way of doing things. The microphone is generally connected into this MacBook Pro. This is my old 13-inch MacBook Pro. Believe it or not, this is also a 2012 model. 
I use this machine for recording the audio narration for these videos. I use a program called Amadeus Pro, which is actually a paid application. However, I quite like it and it works quite well. Because this MacBook Pro is a beta machine running the Mac OS betas, things can, and often, do go wrong. So, for redundancy, I also loaded Amadeus Pro onto this old 2006 15 inch MacBook Pro, and I do use that on occasion. Speaking about these videos, I use Final Cut Pro 10 for editing all of these videos. I've standardized on Final Cut Pro over four years ago, and it works quite well. Next up, we have this closet. Inside of this closet, I have this shelf which I store all of my laptops on. On top of the shelf are all of the power supplies for those laptops, and to the right of those are my tools. On the next shelf down, I have the little box that holds all of my software CDs. And to the right of those, I have all of my Mac laptops. Yes, this may not be the perfect way of storing them, but this is the best shelf I have at the moment. On the shelf below those, I have these two PC laptops. The one on the very bottom is actually an HP with that old Dell sitting on top of it. To the right of that, I have a little USB DVD drive just in case I ever need that. And then on the bottom shelf, I have various computer components, including hard drives and RAM modules. Yes, I know those RAM modules should be in anti-static bags, but YOLO. Because this is a closet, I do store all of my dress shirts in here, so hmm, there you go. You get a glimpse at my wardrobe. And then in the very back of my closet are all of the boxes for all of the tech products I own. I used to have these displayed out in my office, but I don't have any room for them anymore, so they're kind of shoved in the back of my closet. And golf clubs! Yep, I do play golf, a bit very poorly, but hey. And then, basically beyond that, we go into my bedroom. Please do not ask about the two vacuum cleaners to the left of the screen. However, I do have this iMac sitting over here because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. This is a second generation iMac G3 released in 1999. This is not the first model, this is the second model, the flavored iMacs. This is in the blueberry color. I'm not entirely sure what's wrong with this computer, but it doesn't seem like it boots. I may end up scrapping this computer because I'm not entirely sure what's wrong with it. Yes, it's sad, but hey, you know what? We can't save every computer in the world. All right, so there you go. There is the computer setup and tour of the office. Um, I wanted to address just a couple things um, fairly quickly. And uh, the first thing I wanted to address is this some weird notion that everybody who creates videos for this site is some kind of millionaire and we live in fancy houses and all that stuff. When in fact, that is totally not true. <laughs> Email. <laughs> You know what? I should probably just leave that in. We're going to leave that in and we're going to continue on. <laughs> so anyway, before I was so rudely interrupted uh, by email, I don't know where that notion comes from that we use uh, top-notch equipment and we live in fancy houses. I don't know where that notion comes from. And uh, that is totally not true. Um, I may not live in the best house in the world. Um, you know, my house isn't a mansion, uh, but it certainly isn't a dump either. So... <laughs> Uh, that's that. And the other thing I wanted to address, I don't know what I'm going to replace this machine with when it comes time to replace it. I have my mind set on either the Razer Blade, which will be right here, or a 2015 MacBook Pro, which is right there. Um, I don't know what I'm going to replace it with just yet. Now, I hope to get another couple of years of use out of this computer before I have to replace it. And as I mentioned before, I am not a fan of the new MacBook Pros. In fact, the Pro shouldn't, in fact, the new MacBook Pro should not even be called a MacBook Pro. It should just be called a 15 inch MacBook uh, instead of a Pro. So um, I don't like the new MacBook Pros. I will likely not buy one. So with all of that aside, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. If you liked it for some reason, if you like watching people give you tours of their house, I don't know why, but if you for some reason liked it, go ahead and click that like button. The thumbs up button, by the way, if you don't know what the like button is, that's the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you check out the website. There will be a blog post about this video. I don't know why. What in the world am I going to say about this video in a blog post? But hey, there'll be one up anyway. Uh, there'll be blog posts to all new videos up on the website and check out all of the uh, social media accounts. Actually, I do want to address that too. I'm on Twitter more than I am Facebook. So if you really want to follow me and you ultimately want to get in contact with me, the tweeter is the best way to do it because I'm on Twitter more than I am Facebook. So, um, but I do have a Facebook page, the Twitter, the Instagram, it's all up there. So check those out, follow them all if you'd like. And the links to those will be in the video description down below. 
And again, stay tuned because hopefully next week I will have that big video for you next week. So hopefully, fingers crossed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. I'm significant, you're missing it. Reaction too efficient because the beat is so explicit in my dreams and now elicit it. Not enough to see it. Scratch it, read it, claw it, read it. Be the first to be an animal that needs it.